Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Quinn Phoenix and today is a very special day because the Halloween Terror event for Overwatch has came out and I just can't wait to look into the skins. I kind of saw, not kind of, I did see the trailer before um, while the game was updating and um, I got a good look at the skins that I know that I'm going to give my honest opinion on, like my review. So this is like me reviewing it. So we're loading to the home screen. Oh my god, this is so amazing. So amazing. Look at the new stuff we got. Okay, so we got a loot box, and then as you can see, we got the Hanzo skin, Genji skin, Diva skin, the three weekly skins, which are Somber, Brigida, and Echo, and then you have Junkrat on the right side. So, of course, you do get a Halloween loot box. Oh, anything new? Yo, look at that background. Look at the brothers. They're like matching with the glowing guys. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's go ahead and start review everything that the 2020 Halloween Terror has to offer. So starting with the skins, we're starting off with Brigitte's, which is called Stone. Now when I first looked at it, um, when they had like showed the pictures on Twitter of Brigitte, it kind of reminded me of like a Revenant feel from like Mortal Kombat. Like she looked like a Revenant and it looks so cool. I. I to say it's called stone to me, I think I'm going to call it personally a Revenant skin because that's what the skin kind of reminds me of from the Mortal Kombat franchise. Like, oh my god, it looks nice. There's her mace, aka her Revenant mace. And then you got the shield. Her Revenant shield. I'm I'm calling it a Revenant, guys. This is my, this is my nickname for it. She looks like a Revenant. So, that's Brigitte's, which is nice. But I, she's like, what, we, she's weeks twos. Next is Echoes, which is Ragdoll. And, oh my god, when I saw that she was getting the skin, it's not a legendary. She didn't get a legendary. Well, she she got one for Summer Games. But since we're on to the next event in Overwatch right now, I mean, I'll take this. I'll take it. Like, to say this is just, like, her classic skin, just, um redesign different in a way to make it look like a Halloween feel skin it looks so nice and she does look so she looks so neat for a doll and look you can see on the wings it got like the um like some stitch sad faces on the back of it which looks so nice and she she's like like what you expect for a rag doll she's like with stitches all over uh too bad I have this gun unlock I would go like in depth with her um her hands. I'm, I'm pretty sure they probably got some stitches there. Maybe not. It doesn't look like it. But as you can see, I do. I, I have the gold gun for her, and you can see the um, what it looks, what the gold gun looks like on her. So you get the red fingertips, which is so nice. I'm gonna be rocking this skin a lot when I play Echo, and I like her headpiece as well. Before I move on to the uh, next skin, I like her headpiece. It, it looks like it, it doesn't look like it is like a stick, like twigs, you know, to make her little um, headpiece. Which is so neat. Next is Sombras, which is Phantasma. Which is pretty cool. I really like this. And I've been playing a little bit of Sombra lately. So it looks pretty neat that they gave her this one. Wasn't expecting it. This is so neat. I like the color scheme. We got the gun. Oh my god, that's a really neat gun. I like okay, to say like it, it kind of looks basic, but what I like about it. It's like um, the designs, like what, what did you call that piece? On the side of it, it looks like it has the pattern part on it. It's like what, a recall? I want to call it like a record piece. Did I say that right? Recoil, <laughs> recoil piece. But um, anyway, I like the print on the side. And as you can see, going down her um, cap of the gun, uh, what, what the, the ammo cap, ammo cap or whatever, you know, that she switches her ammo out. I also got a print going down there. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Now, moving on to the legendaries. I know exactly what legendaries that there is that I want to buy and everything, but uh, let's just get into it. So the first one is the D.Va skin. Now, we've been longing to have a D.Va skin for the Halloween event. And oh my God, when they leaked it, I was like so happy to know like she was going to get a Halloween skin. I even like the tail. The tail is so like ghostly. Like I th she's supposed to be a ghoul, I believe. And the mech is so amazing as well. I just love the tail. Look at it. It's just so glowy and ghouly. And then you have Diva with the ears and everything. And her feet got a little claws in it. 
Check out the gun. Oh my god, this looks so neat. I love this gun. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, this is gonna be my new... Like, I have the all-star skins for Diva, but I'm gonna have to rock this one. I have to. I have to. This is so neat. We've been longing for a Diva skin for the longest time. All right. Anyway, nice skin for Diva. 10 out of 10 for me. Like, it's, it's about time she got a Halloween skin. Like, it's been three years. She needed a Halloween skin for the longest. So the next one is a Genji skin. Oh, and I forgot. I didn't pronounce the name for Diva's. Uh, hopefully, I don't butcher it. It's called Shin Ryong. Right? Rayong? <laughs> I want to say Ray, Rayong, Rayong. I don't know how to say it, but it's something. <laughs> but anyway, on to the Genji. We have Karasu Tengu. Now, I'm not sure exactly what this skin is supposed to be. It's like some type of what? Ancient scary bird or some sort. I mean, it's not a bad skin. Looks really neat. But I'm not a Genji player, nor do I main him, so not gonna get it but it is a nice skin i won't lie it is really neat like you look you can see the swords like it looks really neat you got the glowy eyes lovely lovely so there's the shurikens okay really neat design on the shurikens it look really neat i don't know why it kind of reminds me like the color scheme it just reminds me if it's like um the the all-stars like lava skin i don't know why i don't have this skin but like it i just the color scheme of it just reminds me of it okay onto the sword okay not a bad sword genji has some really nice swords i won't lie he has some really nice swords and this is not a bad color scheme at all this looks really neat actually but it's a shame I don't know how to play him or, and like, I, I don't care for him. I really don't. But like, I like him in the story mode and everything, but gameplay-wise, he could be annoying to play against. But he does have some nice skins. I, I'll, I'll give him that. All right, so that's all for Genji. On to Hanzo, which is called Dai Tengu, which is, I guess, name is supposed to be related to, like, Genji's skin. Now, to say, okay, I'm not, I, I, I don't, I don't want to be picky about Hanzo skins but like I, I I figured like if he was gonna get a skin I kind of was hoping he would have got the skin from the comics the Halloween comics in Overwatch but um I guess they didn't go that route so they took a different path for him so I can see why I guess you know give the Shimada brothers their moment to shine in the Halloween event and whatever Dai Tengu and then you have Karusu Tengu for the skin so i guess it's a shamada time to shine this halloween event together so yeah he looks kind of like ancient <laughs> if you will like um definitely giving me like some type of japanese vibe right here you know move on to the bow okay the bow looks really neat it looks really neat the bow looks really neat and the same thing like I'll say for, just like what I said for Genji, Hanzo has some really nice skins too, but I don't play him, so not getting this skin, but hopefully I'll get it in a loot box, hopefully. Like, this is a nice arrow. Don't care for the skin too much, but I, I do like the arrow, I'll give it that. So anyway, next one. Oh my god, I can't believe that's his name. So we have Sigma skin, which is called the Flying Dutchman. Oh my god. This gives me a Spongebob reference. <laughs> but anyway, when I saw this skin on Twitter, like, oh my god. It, he looks so neat. Like, he's a pirate, and he's a ghost, and now his name is called the Flying Dutchman, which is pretty neat. And, he, oh my god, look at his weapons. It's like sea... What, it's, I, I believe they're called sea urchins. Yeah, sea urchins. Like, that's his, like, weapons. Oh my god. So, he, so now when you're going against the Flying Dutchman... <laughs> you go have freaking sea urchins attacking your behind. So that's pretty neat. I really want this skin too for Sigma. Because Sigma has been an interesting character I've been playing like offline when whatever, whenever I'm playing tank. But yeah, I really like this skin for Sigma. This looks really neat. Winston. Oh my god. Saw this one too. Werewolf. Oh, it, I, I think I like this one a lot better than Gargoyle. Like 
in my opinion gargoyle was like the creepiest skin i like to rock you see i like rocking like the dark skins but um winston's skin is an exception let me just unlock it first yes okay so winston looking like a werewolf looks pretty neat oh my god he got pants on yo look his jetpacks it got little faces it got little log faces oh my god that's pretty neat that's pretty neat he got a tail oh wait so when you spin it it moves okay <laughs> it looks so neat winston looks so amazing oh my god look at it, it has a lantern what is he a ghost catcher or something with this thing look at that Oh my god, Winston looks amazing. His gun is amazing. I would like to see what this gun looks like in gold. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm wrecking this skin for a while. It, it, it may, it's like different from like what you would see because he's a monkey, but like now he's like a werewolf. So it's something different now. Oh my god, so he's not, it doesn't look like an ape. It's like more of a werewolf feel and I love it. I'm gonna be rocking this skin a lot. So that's all for the skins. That's all for the skins. Oh, I can't close it. Okay, so now on to the emote. Saw this one in the trailer. So we got one emote, and it's sad, unfortunately. It's a Ryan Hurd one called Zombie Walk. <laughs> oh my god, imagine Ryan Hurd being a zombie. Yo, this is neat. And I'm pretty sure this one's a traversal emote that you could use in the game be certain and it's pretty cool like he's this big guy just like dragging his hammer doing a zombie now this reminds me of like the bastion one that we have my god like i feel like every character in this game should deserve a zombie walk in their own unique you know zombie walk fashion way like bastions was an exception i love bastion zombie walk i love whenever i'm playing him sometimes i love using that emote and the bird with them is pretty cool but this is pretty neat it's sad when we got one emote though we need more zombie walk emotes. Like, see what I mean? Like, um, in their own unique way. Like, you see how Reinhardt has his hammer? Like, he's dragging the hammer. And he's doing his version of a zombie walk. I would like to see that for every character, you know? Like, me, like, um, Ashley's an emote where her and Bob are doing the zombie walk together. That would be neat. An Ash emote with Bob in it? That would be neat. And if they were doing something like this. So yeah, that's all we get for the emote. So zombie walk. I'm gonna definitely cop this one. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna figure it out later. So now we have three victory poses. So they're all pumpkin for Ash, Baptiste, and Echo. So first one, pumpkin for Ash. She's on the pumpkin. She has the, the what's it called? The, uh, oh my God, did I really forget the name? the gang like you know the gang she's in she has the symbol like branded on the pumpkin she's holding the branding iron of the symbol the route oh my gosh she really has their logo on the pumpkin man she does not play around what they were called i believe it was the dead gang dead gang something rebel gang i forgot oh my god this is embarrassing to say i love overwatch and the lore of it i forgot what gang she's in but she's a leader of it but it's pretty neat she got the logo on the pumpkin Next is Baptistas. <laughs> Look at this is pretty funny. He he looks so excited that, like I, to me, it looks like he's excited because he just carved his like first pumpkin or you know got his first pumpkin this Halloween. So yeah, that's it for him. <laughs> Next is Echoes. Oh my God, that's cute. Okay, she's cute. She looks peaceful and humble holding the pumpkin in a cute way. Aw, she's, oh my god, that's so cute for her. She looks cute, that's all I'm gonna say. So, those are the victory poses, and now we got voice lines. So, let's get to them. Listen to your mommy. Oh, uh, <laughs> listen to your mommy? Okay, wait, I gotta hear that again. Wait, how did... Listen to your mommy. Listen to your mommy, okay, okay, okay. All right, that's funny. <laughs> oh my god, I can see some Honor players spamming that. Is that a costume, or are you just ugly? Dang! Oh my god. I just got a little roast in this one. Okay. Is that a costume, or are you... What? Is that a costume, or are you just ugly? Damn. That's a roast. That's a roast. Next, 
the outlaw's ghoul. They say the outlaw's ghost oh. still stalks those cursed plains. I read that wrong. It's not outlaw's ghoul. It's ghost. Oh my god. Forgive me on that. But that's pretty neat. It's like she's telling the old... the outlaw's ghost still stalks those cursed plains. That's, that's, that, that sounds really neat. It sounds like an old folklore that she may know of. And she's just like telling like a saying of it. I like that. That's pretty neat. You scared? <laughs> I can see those being a spammable voice line for Ash Mains. Like whenever uh, she has like those teammates that literally don't want to push in to like, you know, defend the points or like push a payload or, you know, that are not doing their job. They probably are scared of cats. I like that one. That's Ash got some really nice sass um, voice lines. So next up is Baptiste. Behind you! Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> oh my God! He got a little, he got a little, sh a little scream, and then he's joking Not with it. I you. like it. Ah! <laughs> Just kidding. Wow, that is so. That's funny. That I like that one. I really do. Okay, I, I like these so far. Long ago, in a haunted castle upon a hill. Are you listening? <laughs> oh my god, that's it? Oh my god, imagine he telling a whole story. That would be amazing. Long ago in a haunted castle upon a hill. Are you listening? All right. Okay, okay. I like that one. Next we have Echoes. Do you believe in ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? Ooh. I like it. Wait, it, it kind of, like, to me it sounds like she's like, trying to spook you in a way even though she's like an ai robot like she she could try to scare you a little bit do you believe in ghosts hmm do you believe in ghosts <laughs> well that's all i'm gonna say for that spirits one spirits live within me oh my that's a little dark we got we got a little dark i feel like she has one more voice line if i scroll down Spirits live within me. Okay. So she's a little creep. She got a little creepy side too. I like it. All right. Next voice line. I think she got another one. If Ash has three, Baptiste has two. Oh, wait. He doesn't have a third one. I thought he had three. I'm miscounting. Oh, my God. All right. Get it together. So let's see. Is there one more? I am the no. sword in the shadows. No, there's no more for Echo. I am the sword in the shadows. Swords in the shadows. The Shimada Empire will rise again. Is this like, you know, a hint to like what we could expect in Overwatch 2? Like, I know Overwatch 2 is supposed to be like more lore, lore-ish into the game. So like, if we ever get like a Hanzo Genji chapter, as if they do one where they reunite are they gonna is Hanzo like gonna have a chapter like within Overwatch 2 to where like the Shimada will rise again maybe maybe I am the sword in the shadows mm, maybe that'll be a spam I don't know ah, there's no such thing as ghosts I, I hope <laughs> oh my god I like that little bit at the end he's like so confident saying ghosts are not real but then he is he, he, he he's like Scared of him. There's no such thing as ghosts. I, I hope. <laughs> oh my god, I like it. Exterminate. Exterminate. <laughs> I like that one too. Exterminate. Exterminate. Oh my god, I can see this one being a spammable Arista voice line. Every time she gets scared, she's gonna be like, she's gonna be like, Exterminate. Exterminate. I can see that one being a, a spammable voice line. Alright, soldier. What? Are you scared? Hmm. Hmm. What are you scared? Okay, maybe uh, that'd be a, uh, a spammable voice line. What are you scared? Next the tour. Viking sought a dragon, but a dragon found him first. Okay. The countess was feared by all, rightfully. The countess was feared by all, rightfully. Okay, you know what? I feel like this. If you have friends to where like y'all could do a six stack group and y'all playing with the right characters that could literally probably tell the Halloween story in order, that'd be fire. Cause I feel like this is what they're trying to do. Like 
Torbjorn has a perspective of the story. Widowmaker has a perspective of the story. Baptiste kind of sort of have a perspective on the story. And if anything else, I don't know. Okay, that's it? That's it. If they could just, like, put a whole voice line section together for, like, you know, a group of six stacks to where, like, they could tell a story, that would be neat. Like, okay, so we got sprays. This one's Regita Stone. Bro, she looks like a revenant to me. Divas. Oh, my God. Divas is so neat. I love it. Echoes. Wow, Echo is like stitching the stitches on her to become a rag doll. Oh my god, that is so neat. So dark though for a spray, but so cool and freaking neat. Oh my god, oh, is that supposed to be little Dr. Dr. Liao? Like little Dr. Liao as an Echo, you, you know? And oh my god, that, that's so cute. It's a shame that Dr. Leo had to die, you know? She probably would have been so awesome in Overwatch 2. Had she still been alive. Genji spray, don't care for her. Hanzo, don't care. So I'm, I'm gonna take a guess that like Genji skin is always supposed to be a Japanese style skin as well, so. I don't know. Flying Dutchman, oh my god. Davy Jones Laka. Anyway, next. Phantasm, so I guess Summer's supposed to be like a phantom within the system. One of those scary internet bug glitches that everybody's scared of. A wolf, oh my god, I love that one. I love it, I love it, I love it. I love that one for Winston. That spray is amazing. Halloween Elite. Okay, and then you got some bots. Zen, McCree. I like Van Helsing on McCree. McCree looks awesome in that skin. My god, look, Ash and Bob. Okay, that's so neat. Oh, you gotta do in Junkin' Science mission to unlock it? Okay. She. Oh, yeah, and that's another thing. Baptiste and Ash were released in the Junkin' Stein uh, event, so that's pretty neat. I get to play both um, Ash and Baptiste. I'm gonna play them later on. I think I'm gonna upload a video of that one, actually. Okay, wait. Oh, I passed up some skins. So there's Tracer as a Wisp, like, zipping through the... Zombie robots, and you got Viking Fury, which is Tori Bjorn. Oh my god. Just smashing the hammer within the bot. That's amazing. Zombarded? Zombarded? Who's that supposed to be? Okay. It, I want to... Oh yeah, okay. That looks like Baptiste. Oh, that is Baptiste, but as a pirate. So wait, is the pirate skin supposed to be like a Halloween skin that we already have? Well, I'm going to have to um, equip it. Deathmatch, huh? Oh, there is gonna be a competitive deathmatch, huh? Oh my god, those are like a nightmare. Oh yeah, we did get a, vi uh, a highlight intro. Try to get practice. It's another fair highlight intro, but I don't mind it. Oh wait, oh yeah, I forgot we got another one. Widow. That is so neat, a black widow crawling on her. That is really, really neat. And look at Ferris. Oh, I didn't even notice that. The pumpkin has Reaper. There's a Reaper on the pumpkin, so using them as practice. With the ability, with that um ability where she could boost you or move you or something like that. That's really neat. Like Widow, like there's a Black Widow literally crawling on Widowmaker. That's pretty neat. So yeah, that's pretty much everything for the 2020 Halloween event stuff. Now, these three, definitely I'm going to grind for. These two, I hope I get in a loot box. I, I, I'm i not buying neither one of these. I was going to do a loot box opening of like, I was going to buy like, what, $40 worth of loot box and try to do an opening and hopefully get the skins out of it. But since I literally seen everything I wanted and basically got all I wanted. I think the best I'll do is just grind for the blue boxes and hopefully I get Genjis and Hanzo's out of it. I'm not even gonna try to like waste my money to like buy those out of the blue boxes. But um voice lines, yeah I'm I'm definitely getting those out of the blue boxes. Those look nice. So everything looks really neat. Like last year there was like a lot of I believe there were like a lot of legendaries. A little more legendaries than what we have right here. But like other than that I'm grateful that we got something new. And this was like my first ever um, 
review doing um the Halloween skins and I feel like uh not Halloween skins but like reviewing skins for like events for Overwatch and I feel like I should do more of them because I really do want to give my opinion of like what I think of the skins and how I feel about them and stuff but um this year's skins the Overwatch's 2020 Halloween Terror event skins look really amazing I love the epics love the legendaries um not too much a fan of the um Hanzo and Genji one that much um, it's a shame we only got one emote, but the emote is cool. But I feel like all the characters in the game should deserve their very own zombie walk emote, like Bastion. So we got two of them, Bastion and Reinhardt, but I feel like every character deserves one. Victory poses, got some for Ash, uh, Baptiste, and Echo. And I do, I will say this, I wish Bob had, um, I wish Bob was like in the uh, victory pose as well. I love seeing Bob in like victory poses, highlight intros, but I really want to see an emote where Ash and Bob are like together doing something, you know? That'd be really amazing. Um, and then we have the voice lines, which I really need. I like some of the voice lines. Let me see. I like Anna's going all the way down. Didn't care for the um, Genji one. The Empire will rise I feel like, okay, again. I kind of like it because I feel like this is like probably, I hope, I hope. It feels like it's a hint of like, if we if overwatch 2 is going to be like more story based um i feel like hanzo with this voice line i feel like he is going to try to do whatever he can to avenge his family's name and try to like live up to that expectation of it and maybe we'll get a hanzo story in overwatch 2 who knows we just gotta see we gotta wait um, ah, no I like this Lucio Emo, it's funny, Exterminate. love this one, Exterminate. but I don't know if this is going to be very spammy. What, are you scared? Soldier is always being very funny in his own way, very sarcastically. The Viking sought a drink. Not sarcastically, what, but scared? very... <laughs> What's the word? You know, he's just like, it's Soldier 76, what more do you want from the guy? The Viking sought a and I really like this from Torb, um, Widow, and Baptiste, because I feel like there is a story that could be told have they given it to the characters and sprays. Um, some of the sprays, the sprays were awesome. Uh, didn't care for the Genji and um, Anzo, but yeah. Um, before I end up the video, let's check to see um, what I get in my Halloween loot box. Did like anything good? No legendary. Get the. I got a voice line though. You scared? I like that one. Sprays, um, I, okay, so I got two sprays and a player icon, so yeah. So guys, that's gonna do it for my review of the 2020 Halloween Terror event. Um, let me see. Oh, there's some new challenges, arcade. Okay, oh, and it's out again. 4v4 competitive team deathmatch. Okay, I'm gonna be doing those to earn extra credits. Like, I've done really well lately in competitive to where, like, I've been saving up enough credits to, like, give me two gold guns. I haven't bought a gold gun yet. So, yeah. Um, so, you got these. I wonder which one is the one with Ash. Is this the one with Ash and. Let's see, uh huh. What are Zenyatta? No, they don't have Ash or Baptiste in this one. How about this one, Endless? No, it doesn't say it either. So I feel like they're probably in this one, most likely. But anyway, guys, let me um, end the video here. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys want to see more of this type of um, Overwatch skin reviews by yours truly, Quinn Phoenix. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So take care, guys.